Wyan sat at her desk, staring blankly at the computer screen. She had been going through the same motions for hours, trying to distract herself from the ache in her heart. It had been six months since her boyfriend, Jimin, had left her for another woman. Six months of trying to pick up the pieces of her shattered life. She knew what she had to do. She had to take revenge on him, show him what it felt like to be alone and abandoned. But as she thought about it, she couldn't help but remember the good times they had shared, the laughter, the kisses, the love, and suddenly she found herself hesitating. Why, Anne? Are you still with us? Her best friend, Lisa, asked, pulling her out of her thoughts. Hmm? Uh, oh yeah. I'm here, Wyan replied, trying to sound more convincing than she felt. You know, you don't have to do this, Lisa said gently. You can move on, find someone who deserves you. Wyan paused, taking a deep breath. I don't know. She admitted, but I have to try. Wyan sat in her car, her hands shaking as she stared at the address on her phone. This was it. She had arrived at Jimin's house. Taking a deep breath, she steeled herself and walked up to the door. She could hear music playing inside and her heart raced even faster. With one last moment of hesitation, she raised her hand and rang the doorbell. As Wyan waited for someone to answer the doorbell, her palms began to sweat. Her heart was pounding so loudly that she could barely hear the music coming from inside. When the door finally opened, her breath caught in her thought. Standing before her was Jimin, looking just as handsome as he was when they first met. Wyan, what are you doing here? He asked, clearly taken aback by her presence. Wyan forced herself to step inside and close the door behind her. I came to see you, she said, her voice shaking. Jimin looked at her for a moment, confusion written all over his face. Vyan, what's going on? He asked, taking a step towards her. here to take my revenge, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. Jimin's eyes widened in shock. Revenge? Why? You don't mean that. Yes, I do, she replied taking a deep breath to steady her nerves. I want you to feel the pain that you caused me. As the words left her mouth, Wine felt a strange sensation wash over her. Was it guilt or was it something else? She couldn't quite put her finger on it. Jimin stood there looking at her for a long moment, then suddenly he reached out and took her hand. Wyan, don't do this, he said, his voice filled with bleeding. We 
can talk about this work things out Wine pulled her hand away trying to maintain her resolve There's nothing to talk about she said her voice trembling You made your choice and now it's my turn Jimin looked at her his eyes filled with sorrow Wine please he said taking a step closer I never meant to hurt you. I only wanted your happiness. When I came back from my hometown after a month, I saw you with a new person. I don't even know his name. You looked so joyful with him. I believe you had found someone who made you happy in just one month. Someone better suited for you. I understand that I may not be the perfect fit for you. That's why I chose to step out of your life. Actually, he is my cousin. I only just reconnected with him after 4 years and I had no idea you were coming back that day. I wanted to tell you but your phone was off. He surprised me and he's more like a brother to me. Nothing more than that. Jimin felt a wave of relief. Wash over him upon hearing Wyan's words he responded Wyan I had no idea my phone was off and I didn't expect to come back right then I'm so glad to hear he's your cousin I thought you'd moved on and it left me feeling like I'd missed my chance but what were you doing with a girl when I visited your house after you blocked me from all accounts I just wanted to ask why you turned that to me but when I arrived I saw you hugging a girl that's when it hit me it seemed like you didn't even want me anymore who was that girl and what was going on she's my friend Wyan When she found out that you were spending time with a new guy, she became really upset because she wanted to meet you. She even traveled with me from Busan just to see you. I was feeling down, so she gave me a warm hug before heading back to Busan. and that's when it happened as wine stared into his eyes she felt her heart soften the anger and resentment she had been carrying around for months began to fade away replaced by a strange sense of warmth and longing wine i understand if you're still angry with me but i want you to know that i've never stopped loving you and i'll do whatever it takes to prove that to you as wine looked into his eyes she felt herself falling deeper in love with him now she knew that it was all misunderstanding and in that moment she realized that she couldn't hold on to her emotions anymore jimin she whispered her voice shaking with emotion I love you too. And with that, Wyan threw her arms around Jimin, burying her face in his chest as she felt the weight of her pain finally lift. As they stood there holding each other tight, they knew that they had found their way back to each other, and this time they were determined to make it work. Wyan and Jimin stood there holding each other tightly. Their hearts filled with a newfound sense of hope. They knew that their journey ahead would not be easy, but they were ready to face it together. As they pulled away from their embrace, their eyes met, and they both knew that their love was stronger than ever.
They sat down on the couch, their hands entwined, lost in each other's eyes. They talked for hours, sharing their fears and dreams. As the night wore on, they felt an unexplainable connection that they had never felt before. I don't know what the future holds for us, Jimin said, breaking the silence. But I know that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Vyan looked at him, her heart swelling with love. I feel the same way, Jimin, she replied, a smile spreading across her face. They knew that they had found their way back to each other and nothing could ever tear them apart again. As they pulled away from their passionate kiss, Vine couldn't help but feel a sense of awe wash over her. She looked into Jimin's eyes, feeling the love she had for him swell inside her chest. They sat there for a while longer, lost in each other's eyes. Vine felt a peace wash over her that she hadn't felt in months. She knew that the road ahead would be filled with ups and downs. But she also knew that she was ready to face it all with Jimin by her side. Suddenly, Vine realized that it was getting late. I should probably go, she said, standing up and grabbing her purse. But thank you, Jimin, for everything. Jimin stood up and wrapped his arm around her, pulling her close. You're welcome, love, he whispered. I'm just glad we could find our way back to each other. With one last kiss, Vine pulled away and walked towards the door. As she turned back to look at Jimin one last time, she knew that she had found her forever person. And with that thought, she walked out of the door, ready to start there happily ever after. Communication is the bridge that can mend misunderstandings and rebuild trust in even the most shaken foundations of love.